What is going on you guys, this is X4Gaming coming at you with a brand new video today is not going to be actually a gameplay. Today I'm going to show you guys all the guns, all the perks, all the attachments, things like that. So for those of you guys that don't have the beta, that didn't get it for the PS4, that can't play it for the Xbox One or PC, don't worry because when the game actually releases and you watch this video, you will know what guns you could use and pretty much what attachments and perks. So right away we're going to go to create a class. And the Arc 7. Oh my god. I honestly love this. I already have this at level 5. It's a beast. It's The fire rate is insane. The damage is decent. And the range is actually pretty stable. And I honestly love it. And then for attachments, we got Quick Draw, Suppressor, Grip. This is how it is for most of the uh, AR. So we got Grip, High Caliber, Stock, Laser Sight, FMJ, they're bringing back FMJ and High Caliber, Long Barrel, Fast Mag, Extended Mag, Rapid Fire, like all of these attachments are pretty much very important, like Grip, Quick Draw, High Caliber, FMJ, and Rapid Fire, and Long Barrel, like those are the ones that I think are the most important, and pretty much you have to unlock all these things through tokens and by leveling up, so um, let's see the optics, we got... Ref Reflex, Recon, Varix, and the Thermal. So that's really cool. And then secondary, I unlocked the Combat Knife and it's actually a lot of fun. But we got the pistol, we got the MR6, the RK5, and the L Car 9. This one is really cool. This looks like an automatic one. Yeah, it's definitely an automatic by that fire rate. And then we got launches, we got the XM53, and then the Black Cell. This one looks like a beast. Alright, and then of course the combat knife. And then lethals. We got frag, semtex, trip mine. Ooh, trip mine. Damn, that looks crazy. Combat axe, thermite. Thermite looks really insane. And the C4. They're bringing back the C4 and the combat axe. Oh my god. And trip mine. This, this reminds me of the bouncing Betty. It, it honestly does. And tactical. We got concussion, flashbang, EPM, black hat. Hold up. Black hat. Uh, smoke screen, trophy system, and shock charge. Black Hat is going to be very useful since there's going to be a lot of drones, pretty much like score streaks. So you could just hack into it, or like C4s, you can hack into it, and it helps a lot. Uh, I didn't use it that much in Black Ops 2, but I'm going to use it in this one. And then perks we got Afterburner. Thrusters have faster recharge rate. Sixth Sense displays a mini map indicator with the direction of nearby enemies. That sounds pretty important. Undetected by enemy air support, that's blind eye. Overclock, earn your specialist weapons or specialist ability faster, which I use. Then we got flat jacket, you know what flat jacket is. And then we got ghost. Ghost is a pretty high one as well. And then perk 2. Perk 2 and 3 are the most important ones for me. So we got fast hand, swap rep, weapons faster and aim faster after sprinting. Reset the fuse when throwing back fire grenades. Ant up. Uh, spawn in with a starting bonus to your score streak meter. That's uh, kind of a waste if you're not that good with killing spree. And then hardwire, you know what hardwire is. It's, you're basically invisible by almost everything. So you could just read that very quickly or just pause the video. And then we got tracker C, digital imprint on enemy footsteps. That's going to be very useful in uh, certain maps, especially if you're playing like SNR or like pretty much one death. One Death Things and Uplink as well. Cold Blooded, you know, you should know what Cold Blooded is, guys. And Scavenger as well. And Perk 3, hoo hoo. We got Gun Ho, hip, hip fire weapons, deploy equipment, and throw grenades while sprinting. We got Blast Suppressor, no mini map signatures when thrust jumping. Thrust, thrust the sound is suppressed. That's very important if you thrust jump a lot. Awareness, they brought back awareness, man. When you're using headphones, you can hear enemy movement very easily. It actually, you can hear very easily. Enemy movements are easier to hear. That's crazy. That's a very good plus right there. That's insane. Okay, then we got engineer. I honestly don't know what engineer is. I, I honestly don't remember. Tactical mask. I think it's resistant from flashbangs. Something like that. I'm pretty sure. We're going to check that later. And then Dead Silence. Silence your footsteps. Yes. Oh, my God. These two are my favorite. Oh, my God. And you can obviously put more. But that's when you, like, unlock things. See, I could I already have a couple wild cards. So, wild cards. We got Overkill. You know what that is. Add a primary weapon for your secondary. Oh, wait. 
Oh, yeah. Primary gunfighter. I was like thinking for a second. Primary gunfighter is you can add three attachments. Perk 1, perk 2, perk 3. Secondary gunfighter. Yeah, that's for your secondary. And tacticism. Uh, I don't remember that one. I think you can have another grenade. And then danger close. Danger close. I forgot about that. I forgot the specifics. And then, uh... That's pretty much it. So very quickly, I showed you guys all the perks, all all the attachments for ARs, the secondaries, the lethals, the tactic, the tacticals. So what I'm gonna show you guys are the primary. Arc seven is a very good gun. So once you get this, use that because it's pretty accurate. Man of War. Oh my God, this thing is pretty strong. This is a really strong thing. The only thing is that the recoil goes a little bit up, but don't worry about that. If you're able to control it, then you're gonna dominate. Trust me, I already have this almost on level 10 because this is my favorite by far. We got the HVK full auto, uh, full auto, uh, fastest fire rate in the class. So that's pretty cool. If you're like, if you're like a high fire rate guy, but you love ARs, but not really SMGs, this is the gun for you. We got the Shiva. You can see the specs right here. It's like, it's a semi-automatic. You can just tell by that fire rate, but that damage is strong. Then we got the M8A7. Oh my god, this brings me back to Black Ops 2. This thing is pretty decent. The damage though could affect it at some point. Then the then the XR2. And uh, this seems like a pretty balanced weapon as well. And then classified, classified, classified. Oh my god. Alright, so we got the SMGs and the CUDA. It's a pretty decent weapon, but the, the recoil... No, not the recoil. The damage like could affect your gameplay at some points, especially if you're going on a killing spree and you see multiple people and you're shooting at all of them. And uh, that's pretty much it for the Kuda. I don't really like it that much. The Weevil, I didn't even try. I didn't even unlock it. It's a uh, very low damage but really high fire rate. Oh my god, and that thing looks kind of like a beast. The Razorback is actually a really good weapon, even though that damage is low. It's actually pretty accurate and. Um, Especially for distance kills, you could get a lot of them. Then we got the Wesper. Look at that damage. A little bit low, but the range is lower, but the fire rate is increasingly high. And the accuracy as well. And then we got the VPM. VMP. I said VPM. VMP. Uh, damage range de decent. And then the fire rate is crazy, but the accuracy though. So you're going you're gonna to need a foregrip. And then the classified again. So very quickly. Uh, man, here it is. So these are the optics. We got the reflex, recon, varix three, and then attachments. We got quick draw, suppressor, grip, stock, laser, FMJ, extended mags, long barrel, fast mags, and rapid fire. So I like how they they show you what's added. That's a cool thing. Like grip. Look at that grip. FMJ. Ooh. All right. Um. Where was I? Oh yeah, shotguns. Shotguns is pretty bad in this game. I'm not gonna lie. This gun is pretty bad. It's a little bit inaccurate. It's kind. Of, it's very strong, but it's pretty inaccurate. So uh, for those of you guys that are shotgun people, you guys are gonna have a little bit of trouble as well. But um, it, in a way, it's an all balanced game because I haven't seen that many people use shotguns really. Only like the specialist weapons, like the Tempest, the Haymaker 12. The damage is low, but the fire rate is up, so you could just tell that's an automatic weapon. Uh, what else? Okay. And then two classifies, pretty much. Oh, uh, I want to know those classifies really badly. I know you guys do, too. And then we got LMGs. I never use any LMGs yet, but, uh, a lot of my friends said that it's actually really good. The B, the BRM is actually pretty good, they say. Some of my friends... And uh, the damage, the range, the fire rate, and the accuracy is all around balanced, pretty much. The Dingo, pretty balanced as well. Fast fire rate with moderate recoil, that's pretty good. And then two classifies as well, oh my god. And then lastly, we got sniper rifles, the Locust, oh my god. Trying to quickscope in this game is crazy. Like, for me, I'm so inaccurate because when you scope in, it's so fast. And you're trying to scope in and shoot immediately. Like, the sniper, like, will move crazily. Really crazy. So, you're going to have to really uh, work for quick scoping in this game. Because uh, all around, it's pretty difficult. Then we got the uh, Dracone. Dracone. It's a semi-automatic rifle. Uh, pretty decent damage. 
the range is good, the fire rate is low, and then the accuracy is very accurate. And then the P06, the damage, the range is crazy, and then the accuracy is crazy, but the fire rate though is very low, so you could just tell that's a bolt shot rifle, I'm pretty sure it is, and then one classified. Yo, I want to know what those classifies are, oh my god, that's pretty crazy. Alright, so now what we are going to do is we are going to check out the specialist. So, right there we got Ruin with the gravity spikes. And then we got him. If you don't want the gravity spikes, you can use the Overdrive, which is a cybernetic leg upgrade that enables a temporary, temporary boost of speed. That's pretty good. If you want to like be a running gunner. Because you can still be a running gunner. Outrider, this is one of the most popular ones. She's crazy with the, the crossbow, the sparrow. You guys all know what that is. And Vision Pulse. Pulse the surrounding area to reveal all enemies within range. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Prophet, this is the one that I have. I honestly hate the Tempest. The Tempest is like a, it's a recharging shotgun. And it takes a while at some point. But the glitch, ooh, flashback to the previous position while keeping all around conditions intact. That's very helpful, especially if I'm like, if I'm shooting one guy and then I go into a room and I see like three others and they're all shooting at me. I could just press the glitch, go all the way back and then be prepared for them. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, we got Battery. Now, this one with the war machine, it's a grenade launcher that fires, that fires bouncing grenades while detonating, which detonates after a short time or by hitting an enemy directly. So that's pretty cool. And then kinetic armor. This is pretty much an armor that protects your entire body. And it reflects bullets. It deflects bullets and pretty much uh, it covers your entire body except the head. So, like, the only way they could kill you is by headshots. But it only lasts for, like, 10 seconds. So, so I've been told. And then we got Seraph, Nomad, Reaper, Spectra, and Classified. Oh my god, yo, I want to know what those Classifieds are, man. And uh, leveling up is kind of hard. It takes a while, but I'm already at level 12, so that's pretty good. I have a couple things unlocked. And then Score Streaks. We got the HCXD. I never tried it yet. I really want to. The UAV, the Care Package, the Counter, counter UAV, Dart, don't even know what that is. The Guardian, I know what that is. That's um, it's pretty much I fucking can't pronounce it right now. Hellstorm. Hellstorm is very useful as well. And then we got Lightning Strike. Lightning Strike. Whew. Rolling Thunder. Talon, Colin, and on automotive, uh, or remote control escort attack drone. That's actually pretty cool. Cerberus. Cerberus. Wraith. H A T R. Raps. R A P S. The power core, the GI unit, and then the mothership. Ooh, and I'm pretty sure the next one is a classified one. Oh my god, they're killing us, man. They're killing us. All right, so that's pretty much it. So there you guys have it. If you guys don't did not you do the beta whatsoever for the PS4, and you guys aren't able to do it for the Xbox One or the PC, and uh, you guys are very curious on what the weapons are, what the specialists are, what the perks, the attachments, all those things, pretty much. Uh, now you know, and when the game comes out, you know what guns to use. I honestly recommend the Man of War, the Ark, and uh, SMGs. I'm gonna keep uh, an outfit. I'm gonna keep an eye on those as well. But anyway, I'm gonna be coming out with a lot more gameplays, and I'm also streaming. So if you guys are watching this right now, most likely I am streaming. So check out my stream. I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys could go check that out. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch. As always, this is X4 Gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!